everyone, and thank you Nordic RC for having me on. The Rising Fighter is one of my new favorites, and I think the reason behind that is the fact that it's pretty much an old school RC car. And with that old style of driving, you're gonna get a heck of a lot of laps. But at the same time, there are some kind of grievances that I had with the Rising Fighter. And one of them was that little bumping and slapping of the transmission upon acceleration and deceleration. And the fact of the matter is, when the transmission is allowed to kind of do whatever it wants, it really makes an already strange handling car even more strange. So this little brace here is going to allow the car to perform more predictably. You're still going to get all of that axle articulation that you would have had without the brace. However, you're going to have a secured transmission. Nordic RC Visions, back to you and thank you again. <laughs>
in such a way that the modification to the car is very minimal. If any of you out there are interested in some of these parts, you can find me at Ampro Engineering on Shapeways. A link is up here right now. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, but unfortunately I can't talk any longer. Um, all this discussion about the Rising Fighter and all these other Tamiyas has made me want to go drive them. So I'm going to go strap a flashlight to this and go irritate the neighbors because it's 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm.